Hi everyone and welcome to our next video on the topic of the psychobiology of altered states of awareness. Today we're going to be talking about sleep requirements, so how much sleep you actually need. So today we'll be covering um, again the same key idea and we'll also be talking about sleep needs. Okay, um, we've already discussed circadian rhythm, so now we're on to sleep needs and then we'll cover deprivation. Okay, so our needs for sleep change over the course of our life. And you guys would know this if you have any younger siblings, that babies sleep a lot. So newborns from, you know, being first born to being three months, they sleep around 16 hours out of the 24 in a day. And they actually have a sleep-wake cycle of around three to four hours. So every three to four hours, um, they're going to um, wake up. And then after three hours, they'll go back to sleep, right? Which is why um, parents of newborns often go crazy because their, um, their schedule is really dramatically changed. Okay, infants. So we're now looking at three months to two years. They average about 15 hours per day. And they actually nap several times throughout the day. Moving on to the toddler, so two to four year olds, they average around 12 hours per day and it's very, very common for toddlers to wake during the night, um, often, you know, cry and parents have to try and, you know, manage whether or not they go to them or let them cry, that, you know, constant debate there as well. Okay, this takes us to preschoolers, so four to five year olds, they average around 12 hours per day. And at this time, it's really common for children to have bedtime fears, so they don't want to go to bed, maybe they're afraid of the dark or the monster in the cupboard or under the bed. Um, common to have nightmares and also really common for bed wetting. Right now we move to school age children, so 6 to 11 year olds, looking at um, primary school age here. They average around 10 hours per day. And then eventually moving on to adolescents or teens, they average seven and a half hours per day. Okay, now this is a time where their need for sleep increases because it's a growth period. So um, growing physically and also emotionally, um, etc. lots of changes happening. So their need for sleep increases. This takes us through to young adults, um, which is, you know, quite vague, but obviously ending from, you know, your 20s, I guess, to around your 30s, 40s, around that age, um, you're going to average around six to eight hours per day, okay? And women who become pregnant, their sleep needs increase quite substantially. So quite common for pregnant women to say that they're quite tired all the time. Now, this takes us to the older adult. Now, while their sleep time actually, um, now this should say sleep time stays the same. So sleep time stays the same, but their quality of sleep deteriorates. So you'll often find um, older people saying, you know, no matter how much I sleep, I'm still really tired. It's because that quality is reducing. Okay, moving on, this is a nice little infographic to help explain these things as well um, from the National Sleep Foundation in, I believe, the US. And this is another handy one as well. So if you're more of a visual person, feel free to draw up a graph like this in your book. And this is just as a comparison among different species from how stuff works. Um, you can see that um, a giraffe is at the lower end of the scale. So they only need 1.9 hours a day of sleep. Whereas the brown bat needs 19.9 hours, so really not awake for that long. And humans are kind of around the middle there, close to the chimpanzee and the dolphin as well. So that is it for this video, guys. Next, we're going to be looking at what happens to your body when it is deprived of sleep. See you later.